The project started disastrously when the local builders cut my plywood squares with a bread knife and left me with huge amounts of tear out. Undeterred, I did what Brits do best and I carried on. Here you can see me pre-drilling the holes and countersinking them ready for the screws. The long tip pen really made it simple to mark up the pilot holes where the adjoining sides would screw in later. I like the look of the exposed plywood edges so I masked them off ready to paint them. Painting means that I get to use my bench cookies and when there are cookies, there's this guy. I have used this paint before and I'm never disappointed with the results. It's extremely durable and you can have it mix in basically any colour that you wish. You can see in this image that the tear out's still really visible, but it was going to be contained on the inside of the box, so I could live with it. Here I'm screwing the sections together to form the box. I temporarily fitted the top section for alignment purposes, but then removed it as it will eventually form the base for a seat. I had four four inch hairpin legs, they're powder coated and I'd salvaged them from a previous project. I was really happy with the way these looked. I used the partly constructed box to mark out a section of thin plywood that I then cut down to form a back panel. Here I'm using spray adhesive to attach a piece of leftover fabric. I then fixed the completed panel to the back of the box by nailing it and I think this panel will provide some extra strength to the structure. I managed to salvage some foam and wadding for some old seating. This worked perfectly and makes for a really comfy seat. The spray glue made short work of sticking all the layers together. Before cutting, I draped the material over the foam and ensured there was enough spare fabric around all sides to pull up to staple. Out came my new Bosch cordless stapler. I, this tool is amazing and you'll see it in a lot of future projects. Once stapled, I flipped the seat over and it was all cushiony and ready to go. I know I said I could, but I just can't live with seeing the tear out at the front section of the box. So I cut down two cork placemats and glued them in and now I'm happy. Now we're ready to attach the seat top. I screwed it on with some small brackets so that if the fabric ever needs changing, it's simply a matter of undoing the screws. Here I'm using the boiled linseed oil to seal the exposed edges of the plywood. I'm really really happy with the way the orange paint and the blue look against the finish of the oiled wood. All done now, just time to put it in place and fill it with records. All in all I was pretty happy with this build. I'll be taping and cutting my own plywood from now on but adding the cork not only hid the tear out, I guess it also provided extra cushioning for the records. Please join me on my next video where I'll be making giant build number two. Thank you for watching, commenting and subscribing.